fellow kindergartners, I miss you still. And I hope that you're staying safe and finding creative ways to fill your time um, during while we're away from each other. This week, we are thinking about our voices and thinking about listening, feeling where the vibrations are when we use our voice in different ways. Have you ever been to a concert? That's a good way to feel the music and to listen to music. Have you ever been to a special concert where you sit um, inside a theater and listen, sit very quietly, listen very carefully to the music? Well, our friend Moses in our story today is going to a concert, but there's something special about Moses. His ears can't hear the music. So why is he going to a concert? Let's find out what happened. Moses Goes to a Concert by Isaac Millman. There are several pages with pictures at the bottom showing sign language. As we read the story, I'll stop and show you what those signs look like. Moses plays on his new drum. He can't hear the sounds he is making because he is deaf. But he feels the vibration of the drum through his hands. He has taken off his shoes so he can feel it in his feet, too. I play the drum. Today, Moses is going on a field trip. His teacher, Mr. Samuels, is taking him and his classmates, who are all deaf, to a young people's concert. As the children climb onto the bus, they wonder what is inside Mr. Samuels' black bag. A big surprise, signs Mr. Samuels. The teacher has a surprise. On the bus, Moses signs to his friend, John, my parents gave me a new drum. John signs back, I got one too. My friend. Children from all over the city are coming to the concert. Moses and his friend John wait for their class to get off the bus so they can go inside together. Look at all of those kids going in there. It's a good thing we're going to stick together. Mr. Samuels leads them to their seats in the first row. Across the stage, in front of the orchestra, are all the percussion instruments. That's interesting. Usually, if you go to a concert with an orchestra, the percussion instruments are in the back, behind all of the other players. Children, the percussionist is a friend of mine, signs Mr. Samuels. What's a percussionist? Anna signs back. A musician who plays an instrument, such as a drum, cymbals, and even a piano, is a percussionist, signs Mr. Samuels. A loud musical sound. A young woman walks onto the stage. Everyone stands up to applaud. Some of Moses' classmates wave instead of clapping. The percussionist smiles and bows to the audience. We wave and applaud. She has no shoes on, Moses signs in surprise. The teacher smiles and signs. She is deaf too. She follows the orchestra by feeling the vibrations of the music through her stockinged feet. Then Mr. Samuels takes, set, takes 11 balloons out of his black bag and hands one to each of his students. Oh, what beautiful balloons, Anna signs. Hold them on your laps, signs Mr. Samuels. They'll help you feel the music. Eleven beautiful balloons. 
The conductor turns to face the orchestra and raises his baton. The percussionist strikes the huge gong. Whoosh! And the concert begins. The percussionist watches the conductor and moves from one instrument to the next, striking each to make a sound. Moses and his classmates hold their balloons in their laps. They can feel the music as their balloons pick up the vibrations. I feel vibrations. Ooh. When the concert is over, Mr. Samuels has another surprise. He takes the children on stage to meet his friend, Ms. Marjorie Elwin. She will tell you how she became a percussionist signs Mr. Samuels. I became seriously ill at the age of seven, signs Ms. Elwin, and when I recovered, I found out that I had lost my hearing. I was deaf. What did you do then, signs Moses? My friend and I was deaf. I worked hard becoming a percussionist. My heart was set on it and I did it. I worked hard becoming a percussionist. My heart was set on it, and I did it. Now you can play on my musical instruments, Ms. Elwood signs. Come with me, children. Anna plays on the marimba. Beverly strikes the triangle. David strikes the gong. Tommy and Susie play on the chimes. Mark pounds the floor tom and the cymbal. Diane beats the tom-toms. John hits the snare drum. And Moses thumps the bass drum. While Stephen bangs the kettle drum, that looks like a big bowl or a cooking kettle, and Maria plays the conga. Children, we have to go, Mr. Samuels announces after a while. Ms. Elwin has to get ready for another concert. Moses and his classmates sign thank you, and they wave goodbye to Ms. Elwin. Thanks. Goodbye. On the bus on the way home, Moses signs, oh, it was so much fun. So much fun. And that night, Moses tells his parents about the concert. Here is what he says. When you set your mind to it, you can become anything you want when you grow up. When you set your mind to it, you can become anything you want. When you grow up. Ooh, he has a lot of jobs. A doctor, an artist, a teacher, lawyer, farmer, electrician, or 
an actor. I want to become a percussionist. A doctor, an artist, a teacher, a lawyer, a farmer, an electrician, or, let's spell out the word, O-R, an actor, I want to become a percussionist. And that's the end. And here's the whole alphabet. So take a look at that for a little bit. How would you spell your name using these hand positions? Can you find your letters? Here are the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, so it's like K, but you turn it down. Q, R, F. Now the A has the tail on the outside and the F has the tail on the middle. F, T, U, V, W, X, like a hook, Y, and Z, draw the Z with your pointer. How would you spell your name? My name would be Miss H E I T Z M A N. Miss Heisman. Next, let's go to YouTube and find some videos of percussionists playing their instruments. 